Hey, family, what's going on, y'all? I hope and pray it's all good in the neighborhood. Y'all, I'm getting ready to do a tutorial on how to make an easy and simple ice mold. Now, let me tell you what this, what all we're going to need. But this ice mold, I keep at least two of them in my freezer. And oh, you can do these for any holiday, for Easter, Mother's Day, Christmas, the 4th of July. Anytime that you're going to have company over and you want to impress make your ice mold and i'm going to show you how simple it is now this is my christmas ice mold that i'm making now let me show you what we're going to have first we're going to have star anise and this is a little spice and i sometimes put that in my uh in my tea but it's just a little star it looks like a little uh star fruit okay we have an orange, and I have, and this is one navel orange. You can use any size orange you want to use, but I happen to have navel oranges uh, on hand. So this is one navel orange, believe it or not. And what I did, I just sliced it up, and then I sliced it in half. So these are like um, half of slices of orange. Okay, we have rosemary here, and you're going to use your rosemary for your color, your, your green color. And we have, we also have... Um, cranberries and these are whole cranberries these cranberries have been washed and these are whole cranberries and we're using this for the red color we have lemons and uh, this is one lemon and I uh, sliced it and cut the lemon in half now if you want to use any fruits or whatever your combination you want to use it you can use um, kiwi or um, you can use limes you know it all depends on what you want to use okay now let's go ahead and get started Oh, and you're going to definitely, definitely need one cake pan. Now, this pan right here, I bought it specifically for my ice molds that I do. So, you're going to need one. And I don't use this in the oven, y'all. So, but you have a cake pan, any kind of cake pan. The cake pans with ridges in them, it's, that's fine. You just want to get your ice mold. And, it, and I'll show you when I get ready to remove this ice mold how easy it is getting it off just run some um, warm water on the back of it like so and uh it's going to detach from your pan and you take it and sit it in your bowl of punch all right y'all so let's let me show you how i make my ice molds Okay, y'all, now what you want to do, you can stack your fruit any way you want to, but this fruit is going to rise up, and but that's okay. So what we're going to do is to put a few oranges in the bottom. These, these are pretty heavy, so they might not rise up, so just stack them in the bottom like so. Okay. And let's go ahead and place some rosemary down. And your rosemary is light, so it's going to float, but that's okay. The finished product is going to be beautiful. And we're going to add more rosemary. Okay. Let's add some cranberry. And what I like about... um this ring and that it's going to be colorful and festive for Christmas. Yes, it is, y'all. Okay, let's go in with some lemon. And I see I have a couple of seeds and now y'all take your seeds out. <laughs> okay. And believe it or not, you can freeze these because I just um, froze some. I froze some last year and I just used, them the, used one the other day when we had punch. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this in. And just start thinking about the fruit that you want to put in, those herbs and spices you want to put in your ice cream. And I think these are perfect for a Christmas party. Perfect, y'all. Perfect, perfect. Okay. The rest of these um, cranberries. Okay. 
and for that Mother's Day brunch. And you, you may use um, any size cake pan. It, it, it really doesn't matter. And if you wanted to use a cake pan that you're not, you don't really cook in, because I don't cook in this one. And if you want to use a cake pan that you don't really cook in, just buy you a couple of sizes. And you also can buy the mini uh, cake pan like this, you know, the little small one. I think I have a couple of them. If you want to do a couple of these and, uh, you know, I think it's like, like a cupcake pan. And if you want to do a couple of these, just go ahead and uh, do them. And you can even do these with your ice cubes. You can make, last year I did these molds, but I did just like this and I did some ice cubes. You know, I had those thick ice cubes and that's what I did. So just start placing. And I had a few uh, quarters. Let's put those in there. Okay. We're just adding them. And when you put this in there, you gonna when you finish putting everything in here, I'm getting all the little extra pieces. But just sit down and kind of figure out what um pattern, I mean, what um, fruit you want to use or spices you want to use. Okay. And don't put anything in here that's not edible. I put everything in here that's edible. And those little uh, stars, I use those to make my tea. So you go ahead and fill this up with cold water. Just fill it up with cold water. Okay, let me get a little bit more water, y'all. Okay, pour your water in there slowly. And I give you another something. I'm going to tell you something else that helps keep this a little bit longer. If you let whatever punch you are using, let it be as cold as you can get it. And then you turn this over in there. And this is going to help your punch stay cold also. And But if you have your punch, don't put this down in room temperature punch. So I always let my punch, uh, you know, get really cold. Then I add this in there and it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, y'all, this is going into my deep freezer overnight. You know, to me, you get the best result if you do it overnight. And then if you know you're going to um, have functions, do it two or three weeks before and get it out of the way and put it in the deep freezer. I just, like I told you a few minutes ago, I just used one that I did last year. I did several of them last year and I, and I redid them, you know, I redid them a couple of times. So I just used it and y'all, it was perfect. It was just as nice, just as pretty. All of the fruit and everything was still frozen in here. So I did one last year and I used it just the other day. So we're going to put this in the refrigerator and let it freeze. And this will be beautiful a beautiful addition to your punch bowl so tomorrow when this freezes real good overnight then we'll go ahead and I'll make us some punch and add this beautiful reef ice mold to it see you then you see how some of the fruit is rising to the top that's okay and if you want to um once you get it in your freezer if you want to just sort of push down a little bit you can but those uh, cranberries, they, they're not going anywhere. They're going to float to the top anyway. Okay, y'all. Let's get this done. Oh, and y'all, I forgot to tell you. Now, we're gonna have, I'm going to have to carry this and put it in the deep freezer. You can go ahead and put your food and everything in here and then take it to your deep freezer and pour cool water over it. So you won't have to try to, you know, carry this with, this, with full water, wasting it everywhere. So just go ahead and add everything that you need to add to this and then go ahead and take your water and put it in it. So if you want to do it, but make sure that this will fit down in your uh, punch bowl because you can make them too big and they won't fit down in, in the punch bowl so this is the perfect i chose this this is the perfect size for my punch bowl i have several punch bowls and i have one in mind that i want to use so we'll, we're going to use the, the smaller punch bowl but be sure don't make it too big that it won't fit down in your punch bowl.
Okay, family, here's our ice mold. And what I did, I ran, um, put this up under the, the uh, faucet with warm water and I held it on each side like so. And I turned it over and ran water under there. So this is, uh, this is already loosened. It's loose, so let's go ahead and add it to our punch bowl. You just turn it over like so. Here it is. It's just a little festive re-ice mold. It's gonna keep your drinks cold. And when you put it in your um, punch bowl, don't just flop it in there like this. No, because if you do that, you're going to have punch everywhere. And try not to fill your bowl up all the way. So we just take it. like this and we're gonna hold it and put it down in there and then just sort of ease it down and let it go then you won't have a mess going on thank you all for watching i appreciate y'all god bless god bless you and your family over the holiday season i pray that um that you're safe um i pray that god give you the increase and put a hedge of protection around you and your families And with this ice mold, I'm not going to let it stay in. So what I'm going to do is take it out and put it back in. You just take it out like so. And just put it back in your mold. And you can put it back in the freezer. That's if uh, you don't want it to stay in as long. You can always reuse this. I'm going to reuse this. Thank y'all for watching.